Well, as summer is finally upon us, our oak trees are really starting to grow and leaf out to be these beautiful shade trees that we all love. Unfortunately, there are a few diseases that we've been seeing show up on our oak trees. And so some of the early season diseases that, we'll, that we've been seeing are anthracnose and oak leaf blister. Oak leaf blister looks very similar to a lot of our insects that form leaf galls. However, if you flip that leaf over and look on the bottom of it, you'll actually notice that it's hollow on the underside. This oak leaf blister is actually caused by a fungal pathogen, Tafrina. And anthracnose is another one of our early season foliar fungal diseases. Similar to oak leaf blister, these, both of these fungal diseases are favored by cool, wet springs, which we've had. One of the symptoms of anthracnose is you'll see dark discoloration that really tends to follow those leaf veins. As far as control for both of these fungal pathogens, in a landscape, we rarely recommend needing any sort of chemical control and because most of these just form some sort of cosmetic damage, a little bit unsightly, but don't impact the overall health of, health of the tree. So if you would really like, you can go ahead and do some pruning to get rid of those, get rid of those affected branches. But the big thing would be making sure that you're raking up a lot of the leaves in the fall that are affected and taking care of that sanitation that we always talk so much about. The more leaves you remove, the, the less inoculum there will be next spring. And so even if we have another cool, wet spring, hopefully we won't be seeing some of these same fungal diseases show up. And as we're watching the, our oaks leaf out as the season goes on, maybe we're noticing that there are some branches that are pretty bare. Our, some of our oaks can get a few different vascular wilts. Verticillium wilt is one of them. The other diseases, wilt diseases that oaks can get are oak wilt, and then one that can often be confused for that is bur oak blight. But any time that you have entire branches that are bare right next to branches that have nice green tissue, nice green leaves on them, that's a sign that there's something a little bit further back going on. And so maybe you can follow that branch back and you'll see some sort of canker or a localized le sunken lesion on the wood that's restricting that nutrient flow. If you're not seeing a canker, then we should really need to be worried about some of these vascular wilts. Management of some of these wilt diseases can be very difficult, especially when we're looking at a tree as large as one of our oaks. Maybe we're not able to go back and trace that branch back and see if there is a canker there. So you maybe just want to start monitoring that before it falls on its own. If you start noticing an entire side of the tree that doesn't leaf out in the spring or leaves, loses its leaves really much earlier in the fall, again, this is another sign that we may be dealing with one of our vascular wilt diseases. And unfortunately, the best control for those is often pruning at ground level. So if you are seeing a tree similar to this one where we are seeing a lot of dead branches on one side, now is when you'll want to start thinking about maybe putting some sort of replacement tree nearby and waiting for this one to decline. But you have that replacement tree ready to go. And so in five, 10 years, you won't lose that shade that you love.